I'm Jack Green. I've been painting for 55 years, since I was 13 years old. Uh, I love to paint. I like to, like to make art. Uh, what else? Uh, you know, what, um, can you go into your process and what, what you this process, know this, about this work? This process was back, was back in, the, in the 70s. And it started with me uh, buying an airbrush. And I started making these paintings. And uh, they all derive from they all derive from drawings, from studies in black and white. And uh, there's a there's a drawing for each one of these practically. I think maybe one or two there isn't. But uh, they've uh, they took a long time to work. I used to mix colors for an hour or more, get, getting exotic colors fiddling with them and changing them and altering them. And, uh, what's, the, what's the process? Do you do you allow tape or rules or edges? Yeah, I use what? tape. They were, they were taped out. But they, they, were, they were enlarged from drawings that are only this big, especially these long ones. Uh, they were enlarged from that. And there was like a, lot of certain, here? a lot of certain uh, algebraic figuring on that one that I had my wife work on because I'm not that good at math. <laughs> so. So you want to go out and look at a couple of these drawings and show me what yeah. show, you, show me what you meant? Yeah, we can. Okay. Let's see what we have here. a couple here. Here's, here's what we were, I was standing in front of. This is, this is called, yeah, this is called Venetian Sequence. I'll just show it over here because I'm getting a lot of reflection. Get too much refle yeah. reflection? Is that better? Yeah. How about that? What's, what do you say it's called? It's called Venetian Sequence. Why? And uh, I call it Venetian Sequence because these look like Venetian blinds. Uh, uh, but it, it's, and this always I thought of as like a pipe with a drip coming down it. So I have little, little uh, stories that go along with some of these things. I mess around with them. And, but they're also really abstract compositions. And I, that's really where I'm at. What are you working on now? I'm working on sculptural pieces, wall reliefs. And they... Some of them come off the wall four inches or more. Uh, they're, you know, I'm, I'm enjoying doing those. I'm not working with airbrush right now because I'm, I'd like to figure out how to do them with airbrush because it's a bit of a masking problem. You gotta mask off a section to paint it. So your wall reliefs are multi-dimensional and yeah. geometric or are yeah, they? Yeah, they're, they're, they, they come, they're, they're, they're not geometric, they're actually organic. They're very organic. They're not like these at all. And this, this series of paintings uh, gradually worked into a, another... I started looking at other textures and things like that, and I said, well, I want to start using some of those textures. So I started moving away from this. And some of the drawings, for instance, well, these are starting to move away. And, uh, this is another one that, you know, I was working away from what I was, had started off with in geomet geometrics. I'm still using geometrics, but, you know, it's just a little different. So, you, the, the, Torn or or um, what? the torn or irregular edge or vanishing edge led you to more organic shapes. Is that would that be unfair to say? Be what? That the that the torn or the torn yeah, it's or, torn tape or 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 kind basically of vanished vanishing edge stuff yeah, this, led this you was, to more. This was shapes. an interesting little project because I actually have a painting of this and. Just to create this sharp edge here and then fade it out into a, and yet maintain the square. There's a little trick that you know, I had to bring it, bring the whole masked area up and away from the paper 
in order for it to spray underneath, but still hold the hold the uh, the uh, square shape. Is there a little conceptual, or is it just purely material? It's just another, you know, one of my little ideas. I get in my head and I just go for it, and I see where it's going, and then I, I do it. Uh, I, you know, I have fun. I like these pieces.